We are now moving on to the final section of the overview for EBRI. During Section 3, we will begin by discussing explicit instruction and in how to implement EBRI into your program. And how does a program plan for EBRI? Elements of evidence-based reading instruction. Again, we've seen this chart earlier during this webinar, but now we have already discussed how to conduct diagnostic assessment, and actually we didn't discuss how to conduct them, but why it's important to do so. And as I said, we're not going to include during this webinar how to plan for instruction, because you will need to take the other EBRI specific leveled components of reading trainings to learn how to do that. But right now, we are going to go into the teaching explicit instruction. So as you can see, the other two elements have disappeared and we've already discussed monitoring student progress a bit. So now we are moving on to explicit instruction. The first phase of explicit instruction is the explanation phase why learning this strategy is important for the student and how it will help them to improve their reading. Then you move on to the modeling phase, which is the I do, where the teacher does a think aloud on how to do the new EBRI strategy and the students sit silently listening and watching as the teacher does this modeling. Then you move on to guided practice, which is the we do, where there's lots of scaffolding and support. And also it's a gradual release of responsibility from the teacher to the student. This is the part where you would do a lot of peer work, small group work, and where the students basically work together to support each other. You move on to the monitoring and application phase, the you do. And this is where the students are completing their work alone or independently. And the teachers need to ensure that as the students are completing this work, that they truly are able to complete the task assigned independently. And if the students appear to be struggling with this task, then you need to move them back to the guided practice phase and monitor that carefully and then you can move the student back when they are ready on to the application phase. So here you have this graphic explicit instruction, the modeling and explanation phase and guided practice phase are larger than the independent phase where the students do this alone. So I like to think about this as building a house and comparing it to explicit instruction. So the first phase of a house that you will build is the foundation. But you don't move on to after you've put the foundation on, you don't complete the house by then moving on to put the roof on. If you do that, what do you think will happen? The house will collapse. And this is just like teaching explicit instruction. You need to do the explanation and modeling and guided practice. Those are really important before you move on and put the roof on, which is the application phase. And if you do the explanation and modeling and then move on to application, your students' learning will collapse, just like your house will collapse if you put the roof on too quickly. Implementing evidence-based reading instruction. Teachers cannot implement EBRI instruction alone. Like the three-legged stool shown here, implementation requires support from all the stakeholders at the classroom, program, and state levels, which is also the PD part of this, policy and structural issues at the program level affect the teacher's ability to implement in the classroom. 
policies at the state level affect the ability to implement at the classroom and program level. What the teacher does in the classroom affects how well state and program structures and policies are implemented. Elements of making complex change. In order to implement EBRI in your classes or your program, you will need to make some complex changes in your program. You cannot continue to teach reading as you always have done. You need to include EBRI. You should not think of this as an additional layer of work for you, but rather implementing and using EBRI instead of how you currently teach reading. So you are not adding another layer on, but rather substituting research-based promising practices to your students. So now, in order to make this complex change, you will need to have a vision that evidence-based reading instruction will be provided to all reading levels in your program and in Massachusetts. You will also need some knowledge and skills to be able to implement this change. You will need to conduct diagnostic assessments, create reader profiles, and use explicit instruction to teach the four essential components of reading. And by attending the SABES ELAPD Center's trainings, on EBRI for the four components of reading, you will have the necessary skills and knowledge to implement EBRI into your classroom practice. Resources. You will need level student materials, time for PD, time to conduct diagnostic assessment, time to create reader profiles, and time to plan for instruction. Incentives. The incentive for you as an instructor or program director is increased learner outcomes. Helping your students achieve their goals and move on to their next steps for college and career readiness, teachers will need and want to know how to teach their students more effectively by using EBRI so they can help their students who are not making enough progress. Action plans. Action plans help with the implementation and to integrate the other elements of making complex change. Without an action plan, nothing will happen. You need to have a plan of action to make change. So now, you really have completed the overview of EBRI and are now eligible to move on and take the next phase of your EBRI journey, which is the Diagnostic Assessment of Reading. Please refer to the SABES calendar for more specific information about this PD activity. You are required to complete the overview training, which you have just done, and the diagnostic assessment training prior to taking any level specific components of reading training. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at my contact information is right there on the screen for you. And thank you for participating in the short webinar. I hope that you found the information provided here helpful. Good luck on your EBRI journey. The SABES ELAPD Center is here to support you as you continue your journey. Happy reading! Thank you!